Welcome to another Arch Crew Reaction video. I'm Shorty P. And I'm Duke. Today we're going to be reacting to Ruby, Volume 4, Episode 4, Family. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, Duke, <clears throat> last time we saw a big water dragon. I we, yeah, it was, was, was gigantic. Yes. Uh, quite girthy. <laughs> that it was. <laughs> and and uh, no Neptune in sight. No, no, that poor guy. Yeah, he's... That's, can't that's, handle water. He just can't. That's the strangest thing with the name Neptune. Can't help it. But, of course, we did get to see an awesome fight scene. Wow. Yeah, that was one of the better fight scenes we've seen so far. Yep. Uh, with uh, Sun and Blake taking on the water dragon, defending the the non-pirate ship that was kind of captained by a pirate. He, I don't know. He, he, he had, Yeah, he had some pirate features. Yeah, sort of. Yes and no. He was kind of like a cross between Captain Crunch and Captain Hook. <laughs> he's like ah these can be kind of boring it's like i don't believe yeah like that's 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 uh that's what we call a clue <laughs> yes it's not going to be boring that and it's a cruise man how could it be boring right i mean no you got a party on that stuff right for sure all right uh especially when you're in a world where like sadness and depression attracts monsters that eat you Right. I mean, you'd think you'd want to be passing around some cocktails. <laughs> right. You would think it would be government mandated, like, you guys got to be happy. Yeah. You don't want to be out here on these on the seas all sad and whatnot. Like, every hour is happy hour. Prostitution is legal everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some Percocet. Like, everyone gambles, but, like, the odds are always in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, you won a nickel. <laughs> all right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. All right. Hopefully the audio is a little better this time than it was. Gotta be. It was a little too loud last time. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Sorry in advance, folks. Okay. Everything was good. You? This music so much. Yeah, it's a really good intro song. Um, Team Ranger and Uncle Crow looking out for him. Drunkle Crow. Drunkle Crow. So the butler guy is like all of the seven dwarves. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Dad. Show her what's up. Can't wait to see what happens with all that. I know. It's going to be a good season. Like, we probably should be talking here, but, like, there's just... The music is too good, and the intro is amazing. Yeah. It's hard to. So she's in there training, getting better. And, of course, Nora is doing what she does best. Swinging a hammer as hard as hell. Yep. Ah, look. <laughs> nope. Farm boy's back. Hey. <sighs> Finally, I'm growing chin hair. <laughs> So the COVID-19 thing's got him, too. He needs a haircut. Yeah, no shit. Hello, I'm Professor Osborne. All right, then. That's interesting. Professor Ospin makes a, an appearance-ish. Something like that. He's supposed to be dead. He's having a nightmare. I've got two hands. I need two beers. character design to me is like one of the coolest ever. Pretty, pretty awesome. 
Uh oh. What you gonna do now? She took she, that arm. She stumped. Oh. That's sad and funny. The wit. I mean, look, I wouldn't want to lose a limb. Dude. But if I did lose a limb in a world with awesome robotic arms, I don't think I'd be that torn up about it. Yeah. Straight up. Animation is really good right here. Mm -hmm. Wearing a skirt. Uh, and just for the record, I know she's probably more torn up about the fact so that she lost left the room than she lost the limb. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, we told him it was a kilt. He'd never worn a uniform before, so he didn't know. <laughs> I'm turn that up a little bit. That is yeah, terrible. Sure. What is wrong with you? Hey! The girls all said he had nice legs. I did that jerk a favor. Oh. <laughs> Besides, that's not even the best part. See, then we... Like what you see? <laughs> so they've been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody doesn't know we host a podcast, and it's kind of like that. A lot like oh, that. Uh, Miss Xiaolong, uh, please join us. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, My coffee has rum in it. Please, Papa Chan. <laughs> I'm good. So, what are you doing here? Despite popular belief, teachers do have a life outside the classroom. Right. Professor Goodwitch is working round the clock to restore Beacon to its former glory. But Mistral wasn't built in a day. And we all need some rest from time to time. <laughs> Look, let's not worry about that right now. So, there we were, standing in the auditorium, <laughs> looking at Crow wearing a skirt. That's then Oz accurate. tells everyone it's time to work on our landing strategy. <laughs> <laughs> The Broadway twins have always been interesting, to say the least. That sure didn't seem to stop young Ty. <laughs> hey, come on, man. She's right here. <laughs> oh, please. She's a mature young woman. If she can handle combat, she can handle a few jabs at her old man. That's not the issue, Pete. And besides, she's still a teenager. She is also in the room and can be directly spoken to. That's right. And Feminism. I think I've been through <laughs> enough to be considered an adult at this point. It's past the rum, Pops. Yeah. Adult or not, you still got a long way to go before you're ready for the real world. Oh my gosh, does every father figure just have the same three condescending phrases? Yeah, but we only use them when we mean it. Is that so? As a matter of fact, it is so. If you honestly think that you're ready to go out there on your own, well, I guess you lost some brain cells along with that arm. Damn. <laughs> You've been drinking. He dropped its cup. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> I guess he knows his daughter. Yeah. Are we finally talking about the Goliath in the room? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Miss Shaola. Yang. If you don't mind me asking, why haven't you tried on the arm yet? Oh, yes, yes. A piece of Atlas technology being given out like that is rare indeed. Not to mention the effort it took to deliver it here. It seems a great many people want to see you return to normal. I'm... scared. Everyone keeps talking about me getting back to normal, and I appreciate it. But this is normal now. It's just taking me a while to get used to it. Well, normal is what you make of it. For sure. Mm -hmm. What is that supposed to mean? Do you want me to just pretend like nothing happened? I lost a part of me. A piece of me is gone. And it's never coming back. Okay, so maybe it is about the arm. You're right. Yeah, right? It's not coming back. <laughs> but that doesn't have to stop you from becoming who you want to be. Yep. You're Yang Xiao Long. My sunny little dragon. You can do whatever you put your mind to. So whenever you're ready to stop moping and get back out there... I'll be there for you. 
I... Fear I... is like any other emotion. It comes and goes. It's all in how you handle it. For sure. Why? Fear can be very useful. Even I find myself mm -hmm. wrestling with that emotion from time to time. Really? You? He's afraid of mice. They bring only disease and famine! <laughs> <laughs> and don't even get me started on their tails. They're so hairless. Simply unnatural. For I assure you, you're safe. There's That's no funny. Mice. They are kind of gross like that, though. He's like, I assure you, you're safe. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Do it. Plug it in. Thanks for having us over, Tom. Anytime. You're always welcome. It may be a while before we return. There is still much work to be done at the school. I hesitate to ask, but is there any word from young Miss Rose? Not yet. Have She's you thought busy. about going after her? Trying to bring her home? <sighs> I've got to look after some things. And Drunkle Crow's there. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. If we pick up the pace, we can hit the next town before sunset. Assuming it's still there. Of course it'll be there. This one's supposed to be pretty big. He can Bana. Egon Bana. It's a well-protected village with a popular inn. Which means no camping in the rain. See? Everything's gonna be fine. You know, we've had a lot of ups and downs, but things could be a lot worse. I really thought we'd see more grim. As did I. I guess our luck is finally turning around. To Higginbada! To Higginbada! Good old Drunkle Crow. <laughs> yeah. It's like when your kids give all the credit to Santa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. He's the cat by the bar, toasting to the good life. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't. Uh... From the woman upstairs, red eyes. Said you wouldn't mind bottom shelf. I like I like where this is going. <laughs> Thanks. But I went ahead and gave you top. Lucky you. Nice. Mm. So what were you saying about look? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious stranger kind of like. Yeah. Buys you a drink, but backhandedly insults you by saying, like, yeah, I'll drink the cheap shit. Right. And then she's like, but it's a good thing I gave you, like, better than that. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, so whenever you're done with that, come hit me. Mm -hmm. Up. You can give me just the tip in my Hello, brother. So we've seen this person Raven. before with the mask on. Right. On the train, right? Yes. So, what do you want? A girl can't just catch up with her family. She can, but you're not. So how about we get on with it? Unless you plan on keeping these coming. Does she have it? Did you know Yang lost her arm? That's not... Rhetorical question. I know you know. It's just obnoxious that you'd bring up family and then carry on like your own daughter doesn't exist. Knew it. <laughs> I saved her. Once. Because that was your rule, right? Real mom of the year material, sis. 
I told you Beacon would fall, and it did. Because she looks like I Ruby. I told you Ozpin would fail, and he yeah, I has. I bet Ruby has a different mama. Now you tell me. Mm. Does Salem point. have it? I thought you weren't interested in all of that. I just want to know what we are up against. And which we are you referring to? You should come back, Raven. The only way we beat her is by working together. All of us. You're the one who left. The tribe raised us, and you turned your back on them. They were killers and thieves. They were your family. You have a very skewed perception of that word. I lead our people now. And as leader, I will do everything in my power to ensure our survival. I saw. The people of Shion saw too. The weak die. The strong live. Those are the rules. Well, you've certainly got someone strong on your side. I've seen the damage. We couldn't have known the Grim would set in as quickly as they did. I'm not talking about the Grim. And I'm not talking about you, either. If you don't know where the relic is, then we have nothing left to talk about. I don't know where the Spring Maiden is, either. But if you do, I need you to tell me. And why would I do that? Because without her, we're all going to die. <laughs> and which we are you referring to? <laughs> so much just happened and i don't know what it is <laughs> there wasn't a lot of room for talking in that either i kind of yeah. feel bad for like reacting and not reacting yeah because i just wanted to pay attention she kind of like did the flex thing like oh okay. don't mind me as i block this sun out of my eyes <laughs> wait is that it <laughs> <laughs> got me right at the end yeah i did not use the word i wanted to use yeah. uh so what did you think about that episode oh uh, man amazing yeah yes so many things happening behind the scenes and i met yang's mama yeah that's pretty cool yeah finally big reveal i mean you kind of had some inkling that maybe that's who that was when I she did. saved her on the train i did i did um, only, I mean, the hair, the face, other than, you know, I mean, yeah, she doesn't have mom's hair color, but she has mom's hairstyle yeah, and mom's for the most part. body looks. Yeah. So I was, you know, I was kind of like, okay, all right, this makes sense. Um, and then, of course, whenever Crow was talking to her, I was like, okay, this makes sense. And then I forgot, of course, that, you know, that they don't have the same mama. Right. And so I was like, oh, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And that's going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. In and of itself, I'm sure. Um, and then, of course, the back and forth between her and Crow, the tribe. I want to know more about that. Mm -hmm. The intensity to learn more has intensified. Yes. For sure. So. So, and she's supposed to know, or he believes maybe she knows where the Spring Maiden is. Right. And she thinks that who has the relic? S she's wondering if Salem got a what they call a relic. Okay, all right. Yeah, and then and that's obviously not the case. Right. Yeah. So, um and I, I'm just assuming that Salem is our gal that is currently looking for the relic. She Salem is the white lady who's in charge of the bad guys. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 of course she had asked for it and they're like, "No, no, no, yeah." So, mm -hmm. I I kind of figured that. So, I more questions than answers. <laughs> that happens with Ruby a lot. Yeah, but <laughs> so good, and the animation has is 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 really come really far. Yes, uh, yeah, especially from season one, yeah. man. 
Yeah. Like, it, you don't notice it a lot of times, but then you see episodes like this where it's like, wait, that's, you know, even yeah. though there's not a lot of action going on, when they're just walking, you're like, it's so much smoother. Yes. And then, of course, Yang, seeing her, her hair, mm-hmm. how, how, because, you know, she had certain movements with her hair in, yeah. you know, season one through, you know. And then, of course, her arm articulating and all that is like, oh, they've done some some masterful things behind the scenes. Yes. This, the farm kid, shows up again. He's got some mm-hmm. tools, and he's hanging out. And then it's like, hey, Lo, this is Professor Ospin. And then that's it. So as you can see here on the screen. Oscar. And we heard, yeah, we heard someone yell to him. His name is Oscar. Farm kid, mm-hmm. you know, checking to see if he's... Got chin hair, going bald. Be careful with them toy tools. <laughs> and then uh, out of nowhere, uh, supposedly right. dead Ozpin mm-hmm. introduces himself, but we don't know. Was he in the mirror? Right. Is he like a specter somewhere? Like Is what's going on? Is it a pre-recorded message? Right. That's a good one. Yeah. Who knows? Don't know. I, well, you know, I don't. I do know. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't. I'm still in the dark. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and call this one good, and that way we can move on to next week's recording. Yes, yes, yes. Please, pretty please. Um, so thank you everybody for participating in this premiere. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Glad you guys are here. I say that every week, um, but I do mean it. It's not just something I say. Um, I would also appreciate it if you guys could like the video. That way, it helps share it to more people. Please. Subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about the reaction. Let us know more about what you think about Ruby. Right. And uh, we're coming up on the end of the series, so I mean, it'll be here before we know it. So start suggesting stuff for us to react to as a replacement for Ruby, because we're open to suggestions. Yep. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>